Right, welcome to a brand new one. In the last one, we got started with the pro mode wherein we created an S3 bucket. In this one, I want to go a little deeper. I want to go a little more advanced wherein we're going to ask Kubia to create S3 bucket. However, we're going to ask it to create multiple. We're going to ask it to create a for each loop in Terraform as well. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing first, we're going to wait for Kubia to spin up a brand new container because everything runs inside the container in pro mode. So we are waiting for it to start the container so that we can start executing our queries. All right, the container is started. As you can see now, we're gonna start punching our query. So what do we want? Create three S3 buckets for me, name them Kubia random string make sure to create using terraform for loop from scratch all right so this is our query wherein we are telling kubia to create three s3 bucket name them kubia and then hyphen random string this is because to make sure that uh, the names are unique and there's no conflict at all so as you can see kubia smart enough as always started to create a new directory and then I've also mentioned it to use a for loop because it is important to learn fundamentals of loopings and counts in Terraform and we're using Kubia to create the for loop for us. As you can see, it has started to give us all the plan. It's gonna create the directory first, main.tf and then run the Terraform mine. Obviously we know all of this. What we're really concerned about or really interested about is seeing the Terraform code which uses the for loop and creates bunch of buckets for us. All right, so it has created the project, seed into the project. Now it's asking what can I do for you? I want to see the Terraform code and then apply it. All right, as you can see, it has started to give us the code as well. Um, it has started to provide the region and it has started, this is what we are interested at. So it is going to create three buckets. That's what we mentioned. It is then going to use the random function in Terraform as well. And uh, it's adding the tags also. You could change the tag name as well. So it's using random uh, pet bucket name and then count, which is going to iterate through all the buckets. And it's explaining that this code will generate three S3 bucket in the particular region with the tags. All right, so I'm gonna, if it's asking for my confirmation, please go ahead and apply. So before apply, obviously it'll do the init and plan. So it'll, it, it can generate the plan and let us know what it's going to apply. Right, the initialization has been successfully done. Now it's running the Terraform plan and Terraform plan has also been successfully applied. It shows that it got three, six resources to be created, three S3 bucket and three random names. All right, it also tells us that there's a deprecated resources. Now we are happy with all the plan and initialization. Now I'm gonna say that go ahead and apply the infrastructure. Go ahead and apply. All right, as you can see that it has started to apply the Terraform code with auto approve so that it doesn't have to ask for any manual intervention, just like it would happen in a pipeline as well. So we were waiting for it to run the Terraform applied, create the bucket so that we can go ahead and check our S3 buckets right now. We don't have these uh, buckets created with Kubia and random integer name. All right, Terraform apply command has been successfully executed. Now let's go ahead and go back to our S3 Amazon console and we have got 13 buckets now. We've got three new buckets with Kubia hyphen random string. You can, you can give it an environment as well, but for the uh, sake of the learning, I use the random string, which is teaching more and then still, all of these are random strings so that there's no error while executing it. All right, that's pretty much all. I hope this is super informative for you. Go ahead and try that on your end also. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.